and new for you this morning. The season just began for a Grand Strand travel basketball team, but it's already in jeopardy. Michaela Evans joins us live to explain how you can help this team stay on the court. Michaela, good morning. Good morning, Lauren and Darion. Shooting threes is the easy part for this travel basketball team out of Loris. Coming up with money to pay for their travels isn't always a slam dunk. You good? Come on. Destined for greatness. We actually had kids that actually couldn't even catch a basketball when we first started playing. Now it's, it's amazing what they're able to do on the basketball court. That's the name head coach Terrence Hardy decided for the AAU travel basketball team he's been with since they were in the third grade. Coming here, seeing these guys, seeing them develop, seeing them grow. This is our sanctuary, so we, we love it here with these kids. But Hardy says it hasn't always been easy for the program funded by donations as costs for travel and tournaments start adding up. We want to try to, you know, beef up our competition. We want to play more competitive teams. So when we started doing that, it started getting a little a little bit more expensive. Most of these kids here on this team come from single parent homes and it's a struggle for the parents. That's especially true for Mother Rika Bellamy, who has twin boys Khalil and Khaled on the team. She drops them off at practice and heads straight to work. Um, being a single parent is not for the week, especially raising twin boys. I have literally been buying sports equipment since the age of three, not one set, but two sets. But Bellamy says those two sets of equipment always come along with a smile, which makes it all worth it. Watching them on the court in the field makes me so proud, and I'm their biggest fan. The joy that, as a mother watching them play, the sport that they love the most. It's just a good feeling to you know to watch my boys, you know, play hard at what they love. We're trying to do all we can to keep this program together, keep these kids together, and we need funding. So Hardy set up a PayPal for the team and has been reaching out to businesses around town for help. And a lot of local businesses have uh, contributed and kind of helped us uh, along the way to give us funding to buy uniforms and to travel. You know, that, that's, that just, just goes to show what kind of community we have here in Lourdes. The team members, now high school freshmen, are coming off a hot season, ranking as high as third in the state for AAU travel ball. And Hardy says no donation is too small for the team he's seen grow together. Whatever they're going to do in life, what they're going to do, you know, during their years of playing high school ball, they're going to do it together. And I think that's, that's been a big part of what they have uh, been able to accomplish so far. Hardy says they try to attend two basketball tournaments a month and their first tournament is this weekend in Greenville. I'll make sure to include the link if you would like to help out in my web story on WMBFnews.com later this morning. Live in studio, Michaela Evans, WMBF News.